kidding, I can't play any instrument except the drums. I'm gonna learn how to play this ukulele though. <laughs> so, um, once again, I would like to apologize for my two week absence. Um, I know I said I would start uploading every week again, <laughs> and I'm going to make it my priority because it's really not a chore for me. I, I love doing it. I love making videos and editing them and the whole process. Um, but I moved into my own apartment, as you know. Um, I've been sick, I started school again, I'm working, so I've been really, really busy. In this video, I'm going to be releasing a few different rescued animals with Max, and I hope you guys like it. Uh, we will be releasing a garter snake that we found in the road that had been hit by a car. The garter snake was fine, we already fed it, it was able to eat and everything, so it was time to release it right where we found it. And then we're releasing a cottontail rabbit. We bottle fed it from when it just barely had its eyes open and just a slight coat of fur, probably about two weeks old. And it was also able to be released where it was found. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you have any questions or anything like that, comment down below and I will get back with you. Unless Max also wants to answer. He has a YouTube channel as well, which I will link in the description. So yeah. Okay, so here's the first release. See his face here, one side. His eye is probably either blurry or blind, but he'll still be able to survive because we've given him lots of minnows and he's eaten them no problem out of a bowl. And they weren't just sitting there, they were swimming. We're gonna go release him back where we found him. He's a checkered garter snake and he's absolutely beautiful and I'm gonna get one someday. He's like super sweet. And this guy, well, I was driving on a county road and I swerved to miss him. I think I was the one that hurt him because like when I found him, he was he was running away and he was fine and everything, but he was kind of bloody and his face was mushed on this side. But it's healed now. He can eat and do everything a normal snake can. Yeah, we're gonna release him back to where his home was. People confuse garter snakes for ribbon snakes because they're very similar. Um, not so much checkered garters, but they'll confuse regular garter snakes with ribbon snakes, but you can tell the difference by looking at those vertical bars on the sides of their face. That is a giveaway that it is a garter. This is a wild snake. So people who are like super scared of snakes, it makes no sense cause I pick him up and he doesn't bite me or anything. He's just chill. So we named him Harvey Dent. Yeah, we're gonna go release him. to the field. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Look at that. We will miss you. We will miss you. Bye bye. We did it. Okay, on to the next one. All right, well, the next animal we are releasing is a cottontail. We hand raised it on kitten milk replacer and it's time to let it go because he's a big boy now. His name is Ziggy. Oh, he's so sweet. He hates to be pet, but look how big he is. He's so cute. Oh, so cute. He's gonna get all the ladies. All of the ladies. Another successful wildlife rehabilitation. You're free, boy. But there he goes. <laughs> Bye, Ziggy. High five. Hold on, I didn't get it. <laughs> High five. Yeah. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's so awesome to see wild animals go back to where they belong. It's an awesome feeling being able to help them and then release them. So we try to do our part to help the environment. That's why we were also vegan. I can do a makeup tutorial. 
quick update. Uh, Max and I will be vending at NARBC Arlington September 24th and 25th. We'll have tons of crested geckos, ball pythons, leopard geckos, uh, some red tail boas, and a few other things. So stop on by in Arlington, come by and check us out. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments and I'll see you next week. Bye!